<clears throat> Hello and welcome to Reasonable Men. I'm your host, Marty McDonald, joined as always by my good friends, Abe Whitman and Walter Davis. As our viewers know, we rarely talk politics on this show, but rather take a nuanced look at complex issues and provide practical yet effective solutions. However, with an upcoming presidential election and the sensationalist left ready to elect a literal communist as the next leader of the free world, we must deviate from our normal topics for the sake of our country. Yeah. On tonight's politically charged episode, we'll discuss the major candidates and who would be the best one to represent a rather large town such as Shrewsbury, Massachusetts. For a little political diversity, please welcome to the show our guest, Keith Moron, uh, Morton, sorry, <laughs> Keith Morton, a registered Democrat. Thank you for the correction, yeah. and uh, it's an honor to be here. Okay, so uh, before we get started, Keith, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, as you said, um, I'm a registered Democrat. Um, That's why um, I'm the host. He is the host. Though. You should show him a little bit more respect. Really? You're going to take his side on this? He was just sitting there, not saying anything. I spoke up. It's, it's just not right, Abe. It's not right, and you know it. Okay, you are a goddamn <laughs> lunatic. Marty, are, Keith, do you care who asks you the questions? It, please don't involve me in whatever you, this thing you guys got going on here. See, you, you made him uncomfortable, Marty. You, know, you want to be the host? Then pay attention, God damn it! Come on, Keith, just just keep going. Whatever please, you're saying, it, keep, hey, please, please, fine. Please let me. Have okay, it. we'll have to edit this though. You realize we'll have to cut. All right, all okay, right, fine. all right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah, just so. <clears throat> Keith, <clears throat> tell us a little bit about yourself. Right. Um, so anyway, I'm a registered Democrat. That's why you guys asked me to be on here after all. And uh, oh, yeah, uh, real, real funny, guys. Real what? funny. What? what? Truth hurts. Keith Morton, registered snowflake. Hmm. I wonder how long it took you guys to come up with that one. Not too long. What? You didn't want us to assume your gender or species or whatever? <laughs> Pretty easy. <laughs> because, because he's liberal. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Can you take your hands off me, wow, please? Wow, you actually feel pretty good. You work out there, uh, buddy. What the hell's wrong with this guy again? Oh, sorry. You need a safe space or something? <laughs> <laughs> safe space. That's a good one. That's yeah. a good one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. You know, could we? Uh, actually, yeah. All right. In the back there, could we change his name? Yeah. Change please, it? please. Fix the name. I'd appreciate that a lot. Okay. Yeah, we, can, we can get that done. Yeah. You good? Thank you. Got that change? Fixed. All right. Good. You, uh, you know, you feeling Great. good now? We just had to make sure we protected your oh so precious feelings, right? Anything else? You need need some uh, some water, maybe some lobster, maybe even a massage. I don't know. I mean, damn, looking at you. Why don't you come home and sleep with my wife? Huh? She won't mind. I don't care. Just say the words. Anything you want, you little millennial rat muncher. How old are you? No. Cut that shit out. You do not get to respond on my show. My show. Okay, listen, Marty! I swear to God, if you talk out of turn one more time, I will cut you up into such small pieces and bury you out back that you will never find your little body! You hear that? When you are in my studio, I am your god! Are we gonna cut that part out? Yeah, we can just edit and post. Come on, we're waiting on you. I assume you're referring to him. Come on, we're waiting on you. I'm Keith, I grew up in Shrewsbury. No wonder Shrewsbury's going to hell. Anyway, I graduated from UMass Amherst, and I, yes, I am a Democrat. I've served for the, I've served on the student model for four years, and um, I was also in the government as well. You know, my wife went to that college, UMass Amherst. Oh, really? Yeah, you remind me a little bit of her. Maybe it's the eyes or the, the lips, or the thighs, or maybe it's just the, what is that, strawberry? Is that, I don't know, he smells really good. 
know what it is. Can you, can you please I'm just stop. been so lonely, Keith. It's just, do you know what I've had to resort to for physical contact? I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just, you know the other day, I tripped this complete stranger, this guy. He was just walking down the street and I tripped him just so that I could reach down and help him up, just so that I could feel his skin against my skin. And that rush is, that was five days ago. And that tank is almost empty now. Just, you do things when you miss the embrace of another human. I'm not, I'm not proud of it. I've done some things that I'm ashamed of. I can tell. Depraved maybe a little bit, but I've just been so lonely, so lonely and desperate. Well, you're gonna remain lonely if you keep that attitude up. Um, um, I digress. Um, where were we? I, have I, no I, I don't idea. even know anymore. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, I can't really get this train back on the rails because our host is an idiot. So even when we're flying off a cliff, I can't ask questions, so. Uh, <clears throat> I, I agree. I agree. Do you even know what we're talking about? What are you talking about? I'm Seriously. sorry, we were talking about college, right? Jesus God. Yes. Someone yes. tell me. College. So <clears throat> what, what did you study, Keith? Politics? I actually got my degree in the liberal arts. <laughs> what do they, they teach you how to paint blizzards? <laughs> I actually studied writing. What, you didn't know how to write when you got to college? Maybe, maybe that's why the, the, the universities all lean to the left like that, because people don't know how to write when they get there. You know, the libs need extra school, while the conservatives were already out there working. Mm -hmm. yeah, I bet. I wonder why your wife is leaving you. Yeah, I've seen your show. All you guys do is basically just belittle all of your people that you invite on here for various reasons, whether it can be about climate change or it could just be about, you know, whatever, okay. whatever the case may okay. be. Okay, hey, Keith, we don't need to divulge into insults. All right, can you keep it civil above board, please? Can you keep it civil? Yeah, I can. Please Hopefully and can. thank you? Yeah. You're right, Walter? Yeah. Okay. That's good. We're going to move on now. Okay. Jesus Christ. We're going to move on. So, What's wrong with these people? Keith, uh, it's surprising to me to find out you not only have uh, no real political background, uh, but also no experience in anything related to politics whatsoever. How do you guys not know this? I told you I worked at Starbucks before the show. Don't you remember? It's for any of you? the audience. Okay. Anyway, you're a lib, so what, you support universal health care? Well, yeah. Okay, so you want socialism, uh, a thing that has never worked ever, certainly has not worked in America. Mm -mm. Um, mm -mm. And I hate to bring this up because we keep talking about our education system lately, but you would want to socialize health care just the way that our school system is already socialized. I mean, what was it, a couple of weeks ago or something? We had on some idiot kid named Todd or whatever who couldn't even know, you know, seven times three. He couldn't do it. So what you want is a shittier product for more money. Right. I believe in it because it's everybody's right to get their, like, the same quality of life as oh. everyone else. <laughs> Really? Okay, you're gonna, you, like the, the Starbucks employee, you're gonna put yourself, someone who can't even spell a goddamn name, on the same level as doctors and CEOs. CEOs and doctors and regular <laughs> Okay, you know what? No, 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 no. See, here's the thing. You talk to a lib and they talk about universal health care, all they really mean is they want to take your money, take your money, and they're gonna waste it. And they're going to use it for whatever drugs or whatever they want to do. They're going to build themselves up and leave you in the dust. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's right. You didn't even have a response. And that's good. I don't want you to respond. You've wasted enough of our time as it is. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Okay? Keep talking like that. There's the I'm, door. I'm you sorry. I'm sorry. How, how is that even? How is that a fair response? Uh, you're oh, not even please. giving me. He's talking about a fair response. Let's just keep moving on, all right? Because this is yeah. clearly just going off the rails. It's funny that like the one show where we invite an overt liberal, the one show, mm -hmm. it is the most unfocused show we have ever had. And well, 
There's your evidence why, of course. <sighs> okay, then. Um, mm. I'm literally at a loss for words right now. Wonderful. Well, I like it that way. Let's move on, then. Uh, let's talk about those alt-left presidential candidates, hmm? Uh, Keith, who do you support? Who do you back right now? Well, uh, it's quite early at the moment, but right now I'm going for Warren. Pocahontas, really? Yeah, nice one. <laughs> no offense there, homie, but a woman? Really? Warren is just another desperate attempt at diversity. Like that Ghostbusters reboot, mm -hmm. right? Oh they don't mess with the formula. Don't mess with the formula. Mm -mm. Now listen, I'm not sexist, but my wife... X. Re regardless of that. Heartless bitch, Fiona. Listen, she wasn't even able to hold down a job for more than two or three months. Women lack dedication, mm -hmm. not to mention they're highly emotional and arguably less intelligent than their male counterparts. Mm -hmm. And before I get a bunch of hate mail, all right, do your research. I love women a lot, all right? But the research shows that they do not have the leadership capabilities of men. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's uh, the sort of thing, why would you want to put someone who is so emotionally and intellectually compromised in charge of our great nation? I, uh, we shouldn't. We yeah. shouldn't. And quite honestly, I think it's more sexist to pretend that women can do the job. Of men. This, this is on TV. You guys are well aware of that, right? Uh, yeah, we know. What are you trying? You know what? I want to cut back. One thing I want to ask you, you about, you are quoted as saying that you don't respect our president, the man who our soldiers and Afghan farmers have died for. Mm -hmm. Why is that? I just think that he's a bad person. <laughs> okay. So, that's see, this is how it works with uh, Republicans, yep. you know. We go off of facts, and then the Democrats go off of feelings. You know, I, I find it interesting that, that you won't support a Republican president. Yeah. I mean, I, in the past, have supported Democratic presidents. I mean, Bill Clinton, for one, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I couldn't tell you a damn thing that he did. But he sacrificed, or nearly sacrificed, everything for love, you know? And he was able to do that and keep his ogre mm. of a wife at home and out of the public eye. And I can tell you something about ogres for wives. Yeah. yeah, you know, and that's the thing. We've we've like, we've gotten pretty off track. We don't need to talk about Trump. God knows the corrupt, lying, crooked media is going to tell enough no, slanders about that about that good man, Dickens. as they will. So you know what? He can defend himself. We don't have to worry about that. Frankly, I think we've wasted enough time. So let's just run down the uh, other Democratic candidates uh, while we still can, right? Sure. You do. Yeah. You you guys are aware that that ogre got the popular vote and should be president right now, right? As I was saying, we're going to run down a list of Democratic candidates. Let's, uh, Biden. Let's start with Biden. Uh, you know what? I'm not a racist, so I'm just going to say Obama. Mm -hmm. uh, who we got next? Uh, Sanders, right? Yeah. Bernie Sanders, please. Literal communist. Pass. Uh, Harris, mm -hmm. I really, I feel like we sort of proved why you yeah. shouldn't vote for her anyway. Right. Uh, booty judge, booty judge, right? Booty judge, yeah, booty judge. Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, booty judge. Basically, uh, he's gay, so I don't know. Probably has the same issue that uh, women has. I don't know. Why I'm should that be an issue? I'm just saying. Huh? Uh, anyway, finally, Yang. That's the guy. Yeah, exactly. I don't even know if he was know. born in this country, don't so I so. yeah. can't vote for him anyway because right. he's illegal. And the rest of the candidates, I cannot remember the names of. So so, yeah. yeah. Remarkable. Remarkable. You just annihilated every Democratic candidate in one sentence each. How do you do it? Unironically well, true. Thank you. You know what, Keith? We're way out of time, but we uh, can give you the final word. No, 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 no. I mean, how could I possibly follow up such a well-balanced and authentic point of view? And Just the intelligence in this room is radiating on me. And you know what? I agree with everything you guys said. Not only Thank that, you. but you. I think you should be Donald Trump's new VP. That's wow. how good you are. Wow, Keith. Thank you for the thick sarcasm. Go fuck yourself. There's the door. Yeah, Get well, out of here. You know what? <laughs> Touched a nerve, didn't we? There goes America's ass. 
All right. Well, that's what you get, folks, when you invite a flaming liberal onto the show. The man just makes a mess, and that's what liberals do. Am I right, folks? Yeah. All right, Marty. Well, tell them. That about wraps it up for this episode of Reasonable Men. Please go to our Gmail, Shrewsbury is going to hell at gmail.com, or feel free to text us on the phone number below. Good night and vote responsibly. <laughs>